So one of the things that we've noticed is that this clay, when it dries, it never really quite cures. And that's one of the frustrations is that it's an interior clay. So there's a difference between waterproof and water resistant. Water resistant means that you can just cover, you can co coat your sculpture with a spray and if some water gets on it, um, it's probably not going to damage your sculpture at all. So uh, an example of that would be this poly acrylic. This is a, an acrylic coating that you would spray onto your sculpture. And then this is also a triple thick clear glaze coating. This would make it water resistant so that if it did get exposed to water, nothing too much would happen to it. However, if you want to make it waterproof so that you could actually put this out in your garden, what you would have to do is get something like this um, art resin. This is a, a two-part resin. It's got a resin and a hardener. And it's actually like about a 24-hour process where you mix equal parts of this into a container and then you would have to sort of elevate this and then pour it on and then not touch it for about 24 hours. And then it gets a super, super hard resin coating on it and it makes it waterproof. So now I can probably put this out in my garden um, without any issues. Another thing to, uh, that I experimented with is that once your piece has gone to bone dry and say like a toe or an eyeball falls off or something like that and you really want to keep it, then you can just get a little bit of super glue and you can just glue the pieces back on with no problem. And then that's what I did with my little frog. A little toe fell off, so I glued it back on with super glue. And then I, and then I went ahead and poured uh, this two-part resin on it. Um, and now I, now I can probably paint it with no problem, too, and have a really fun little sculpture for my garden.